The city of Freeport says its efforts to curb violence are working. Over a year and a half, the city of just 24,000 people pulls 105 illegal firearms off the streets. 23 News reporter Jim Haggerty talks with police and local residents about the strategy and what the next steps should be. Police say having a detective dedicated to recovering illegal guns is vital as more of them keep showing up in Freeport since the pandemic. And officials say they've had to up their game because many of those guns ended up in the hands of hybrid gangs and teens. The way that uh, these subjects access uh, these guns or are able to access these guns uh, is a big issue. Um, they typically, uh, it, based in my experience, they get them from straw purchasers or uh, different methods like that. That is why Freeport Police Detective Justin Holden has developed a knack for recovering illegal weapons and being thoroughly familiar with where to look for them. Uh, a lot of the times I, I locate them in houses that typically the suspects don't even live in. Um, they, they typically put them in a, in a stash spot, so to speak. Police say many firearms end up in the hands of those who are not afraid to use them. Uh, we have uh, multiple local hybrid gangs in the area that have been causing a lot of these issues and they do feud with each other. And what makes it especially concerning is that the majority of offenders are no strangers to the justice system. They're usually repeat offenders. Either they're out on bond, or they did jail time and probation, or they just got paroled. Local residents say while Freeport is generally a safe place to live, work, and play, they'd like to see fewer guns in the hands of those who shouldn't have access. Some kids are actually getting, you know, shot and hurt due to, you know, just problems in the streets, which could be, you know, solved with the police. I think that there's a lot of people in Freeport that are really actively trying to give back to the community and kind of restore kind of the stigma behind what's going on in Freeport. Um, but overall, I think that honestly, Freeport is a safe place to be. The Freeport Police Department is currently working several cold cases, including the shooting deaths of Kiana Clark, Justin Cap, and Terrence Haynes, three people killed in 2021 near downtown. Thank you, Jim. And police aren't exactly sure what was behind the deaths of Cap and Haynes, but say Clark was caught in the crossfire of a feud between two rival gangs. Anyone with information about those shootings, they're urged to call the Freeport Police Department.